do you see as the single biggest challenge in the area of energy efficiency in the European Union these days? Not only on the European Union, but let me tell you that the demand on en of energy on a global basis will double between now and 2030, mainly driven by uh, uh, new emerging economies. But having said that, Europe is very key because that's where we have some innovation, a lot of progress to do. And when we speak about energy efficiency today, what we do, we, we do a lot of energy efficiency at the demand side buildings and we need to continue to do that but we need also to make a lot of progress on uh, being more efficient at the supply side because we have many solutions to do that. Connie Hedegaard, the European Commissioner for Climate Action, was here this morning and she talked about the, the, the increased role that she is hoping for for European regions. Now you are active in many of these regions. What role do you see for the regional authorities in the European Union, the many regions, uh, when it comes to energy efficiency and climate change? When, you, when we speak about uh, the role of region, it's obvious because many applications like cogeneration, like uh, uh, district heating, like waste to bio application can be implemented in, uh, in the regions. That's the case also with solar, photovoltaic, etc. It's in the region. And certainly the regions can, are very close from the population, can explain better to the population, and acceptance of the population of this new system is a must. And let me tell you, that's why I am fully convinced that the region will have a key role to play into that, but also in exchanging best practices and uh, trying to, 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 to learn from other regions as well. General Electric GE has had a partnership with the AER for two years now. What can you say about that partnership? How, how do you like it? First, we like it because it has helped us to be more in contact with the regions, to explain the amount of solutions we can provide as a solution provider as GE, and because GE is a European actor and a key European actor. We employ 90,000 people in Europe, more than 25,000 in the energy world, and uh, we, yes, we belong to, uh, to an American shareholder, but at the end, we are very European, we are very regionalized and we want to participate to the development and the improvement of Europe and of the regions of Europe. If you allow me one more question, one thing that the Commissioner raised and that, that other people have also raised in some of the interviews that we're doing this morning is the potential for job creation. You already, as you say, are a big employer in the European Union, employing 90,000 people, 20,000 in energy. But the European Wind Energy Association, for instance, says there can be 150,000 new jobs created created in the next 10 years if all these investments are made. Do, what potential do you see for job creation and especially for uh, junior job level for young people when it comes to energy efficiency? You know, when, when we speak is not, I cannot give you a number like this, but definitely uh, bringing solution, adapting this solution, smart grid, smart city, we will need more brands, we will need more to control and clearly understand what's happening and being smarter in the energy. And all this will create job because when you make a cogeneration, when you make a west to bio in, in, a, in a region, CHP, etc., it will be creating job just because you need to operate, maintain this new uh, application and that will be creating jobs. And what we need also is to remove the trade barriers. Uh, we cannot build a wind factory in each and every country, but you know, the job creation will come from the long term because we need to operate and maintain all these plans and that will be key.